So let's go. Uh, the challenge. Run the first Latin American conference. A dream since the conference of Rome uh, and a reality after the Fosden this year. So uh, I will share with you some topics and what we do, what we did uh, to reach our objectives. So um, the first thing was uh, gather a core team, something like you in Asia did, all of the same, and uh, I think uh, in our case three people who have the same objective and different skills and responsibilities. So here is the team, I, Olivier and Daniel in Rome for the, the Drugs Conference. Uh, and a question, what is what was the objective or the objectives? Uh, in your mind, and even to reach local communities that don't have a way to have the information about the project, about the community, uh, the global community, uh, make new connections among Latin American members, in case uh, the arrows represents the members. Uh, doing uh, something together uh, that in the other hand uh, the members uh, respond or, or communicate uh, only uh, to Europe to here with the global community and stimulate new contributions from, from new members or from uh, the new uh, interactions. Well, uh, we took a look and, uh, in some benchmarks we got uh, around the... Should we, just, should we just turn it off? Do you just want to speak? This okay. Nobody's okay. got it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's all broken. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, right. Of course, the Global Liberal Arts Conference uh, was a benchmark for us, but also the Conference of Asia. Uh, of course, uh, we they took a look in how you did uh, there and also some big uh, events in South America and local events as well. Uh, after that we uh, recognized that we uh, will need to create communication channels. Um, we had a telegram group for quick communication, the mailing list for normal communication and archiving to get uh, the mailing list we contact the infra team uh, through Redmine, uh, the infra uh, done a really nice job with us. Thank you to Cloth and Gillian to help us uh, with uh, this question. Not, not only for mailing list, but after I will mention also the website. Uh, we also had a Jitsi room for our weekly meetings and other discussions for uh, uh, decisions and an xCloud folder uh, inside the infra of the, of the inside the PDF infra for marketing materials 
and meeting minutes. Uh, after uh, create channels to communicate, we started to look at a venue for our conference. Uh, with a local community, with some academic supports like uh, this venue, auditorium, rooms, um, at all, and uh, uh, good logistics to have uh, the more members um, uh, attending. So we found the best option in Paraguay uh, with the support of a professor, professor, professor of the National University of Asuncion, Alcides Torres, uh, and also a good uh, and interesting uh, point to work. A translation to resume that was the Guarani translation, similar uh, the the with a simple similar case of the the case of Asia, uh, a language a, a native language that also is the official one of official languages of Paraguay. Uh, that uh, doesn't have a, a final word, word in case of the translation of LibreOffice. Uh, about it, I don't know, you can share your yeah. what points about yeah. the translation. Uh, the translation was started about two or three years ago. Uh, in, in the event that we did in Denmark, in our course. And uh, it was led by a gentleman that uh, started the translation for Guarani. Oh, yeah. Guarani is um, spoken by most of the Paraguayans. And it's the second official language of the country. But um, because of its an indigenous uh, language, uh, although the official support is there, the business environment is not yet in Guarani, so it's still spoken by people. Uh, it's a, uh, it has a for, it's a formal language, but you don't have any uh, very few supports for the IT industry on the Guarani language. It's very very dim. So it's an opportunity for communities like us to. Uh, uh, come in and uh, suggest the translation for Guarani. All the structure, all the infrastructure is already in place. We have all the streams loaded in Puto. Puto, at that, at that time, we are changing our website, but then, nevertheless, Puto has the great advantage that you can display not only English, but also uh, other languages such as Spanish. For, and then for the Paraguayans to translate Spanish to Guarani is much easier to translate English to Guarani, okay? Because they speak the two languages and they don't speak too much um, uh, English. So the project is ongoing. It got a lot of attention by the academics of Guarani. Several institutes were very excited by the idea, and they are now uh, doing the translation. Most of them are. Uh, academics, professors, people that that um, has a, a literature background, not too much IT background. So it's an interesting merge of the technology with uh, the academic environment for languages. Okay, so project is ongoing. I hope that uh, perhaps in near future, uh, Guarani will be an option for the package in Spanish. It's spoken by, like I say, Paraguay and some of the neighborhood countries, north of Argentina, south of Bolivia, east of Brazil. 
uh, we have about 9 to 10 million people speaking that language and uh, when they will uh, install the real office probably they will download the Spanish one but they can eventually go into the interface and change it to where it is possibly a, a solution that we have technically this is absolutely feasible it's just a question of switching the right switch yeah. okay okay there's no microsoft offset in guarani it's a, an opportunity to develop a new yeah. a new yeah. it's interesting because also as byproduct of this translation there will be a glossary a technical glossary a glossary of technical terms for the Guarani language because they don't sometimes they don't have the right words uh, officially st established for uh, technical terms hardware software they will find a way to <laughs> find a Guarani word for that uh, so uh, another topic who, who uh, that we got the support uh, from the infra team, our website. Uh, it's a silver stripe website with a, an interesting uh, uh, question. Uh, it's multi language. We <coughs> decided to run our conference with the Spanish as the main language, but we also have all the information in Portuguese for Brazilians and uh, a subset of information in Guarani. Uh, together, we, Olivier, I, Daniel and Alcides, we built an agenda and to build that agenda, we talk about the dates, plan somewhat ahead our conference. So our conference was in July. Uh, <laughs> Nineteen and uh, twenty, uh, and we based this dates in the schedule of the venue uh, in case the National University of Asuncion. So uh, with the dates we decided about some checkpoints, announced the event and the website, announced the keynote speakers, uh, any times, many times, open the call for papers, uh, we decided to uh, split the program, our little program, program uh, reserving some slots for uh, call for papers to get uh, uh, suggestions from uh, other countries, communities, uh, projects, migration projects. Uh, after open the registration, close the cover papers and announce, announce the program. And for every checkpoint, a news in the community channels. So um, we use the LibreOffice channels with the support from the market team and also the local channels in Paraguay in, and Brazil with interviews, announcements, videos and many other stuff. So our key speakers, keynote speakers, uh, as we had an event with the Spanish as a main language, we invited uh, some key members who speaks Spanish. So Italo speaks his uh, Italian Spanish mm -hmm. mix. Italian. Uh, <laughs> Italian. Italian. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, Italo is amazing for present 
the project present the the uh, foundation, the community, uh, the history, our history, uh, with more than years of experience. So, in our conference, he uh, presented the same presentation uh, in Asia conference, and it's great. Chisco helps us with a nice, amazing uh, lecture, amazing keynote uh, about QA, and uh, it's a partner of uh, 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 the conference since the first minute when we invited Chisco, uh, I don't know, in minutes, we got the answer, yes, count on me. Thank you, bro. You are nice. And Henry uh, is a fantastic developer from Bolivia. Uh, and a and, uh, key member for us because his personal history as a, a developer of LibreOffice Online is a good example for our, our young students in Latin America. This is amazing too. Oh, oh. review sessions. So, um, we had speakers from nine countries, a main track with uh, migration uh, documentation, QA, uh, LibreOffice Online, a lot of things. Um, 14 activities in the whole program, two workshops, and more I will present in next slides. Uh, as a result of our conference, uh, the engagement of the people, we had after conf conference four new members, five in some days, two new certified professionals, a uh, um, colleague from uh, two, two women, two women. Uh, two women, a colleague from Costa Rica that uh, had an amazing migration project in the University of Costa Rica, uh, Xiomara, and uh, Ruth from Portugal that unfortunately, unfortunately she is not uh, here with us, but uh, also uh, have, have a, a great uh, migration project in Seychelles, in Portugal. Uh, we reached 
Also, the Guarani translation in progress, as Olivier told. And two lectures here in the main conference. <coughs> so, um, one important topic is about uh, the budget. We count with the support, strong support of the foundation. So, to get this support, we make a proposal. We made a proposal uh, mainly for travels because the continent is big and is uh, ex the, the, the travels are expensive. Uh, and another point important is uh, check in advance all the refund process with the staff of PDF for all people involved. So the members who uh, need uh, the reform, we uh, verify in advance to prepare all the stuff for the process. Uh, and important, say thanks, as Olivier told, uh, for example, Henry Castro uh, comes to the uh, conference uh, with the support of from Collabora, and we have we have uh, many other uh, uh, supporters uh, like the University of Costa Rica, uh, la de Universidad Nacional de Misiones. Uh, local, some local organizations. So, say, say thanks is important after the conference. And uh, we would like to say thanks to the PDF staff that, who was fantastic, the local community in Paraguay, the local authorities of the university, National University of Asunção, to our partners like Collabora, to the speakers. It's a long travel to the Paraguay. Uh, Paraguay is in the heart of South America, but for many uh, uh, participants, it's a long travel. For example, from Costa Rica, Mexico, or Spain, or Italy. To the attendants, we, we had more than 60 participants uh, in the event and it's important to say, th say thanks. So, uh, after all uh, done, uh, a good point is review what you did. Uh, check what could be better uh, and, and in your case uh, we would like more engagement of the local ecosystem, more uh, supporters from local uh, ecosystem, better communication of activities. We, we think we did a good job in communication, but we can do it better. We can improve our communication uh, with the local community and the whole community around the world, around the world, and check if the dates are uh, uh, okay for a regional conference like ours. Uh, it's important because we should balance about, uh, for example vacations of the students, uh, yes or no, um, the infrastructure uh, available, uh, other events at the same time. So it's always a point to, to take a look. So finally, this is the final slide. This is the picture of the conference. 
And this word is very nice because Aguye is something like thank you in Guarani, but it's a, a quite more, it's a thank you from your heart, your soul. So Aguye is the word that uh, now represents the, the thank you of the Paraguayan community to the whole project, the whole Liberace project, and the thank you from us, the Liberace project, to the Paraguayan community. <coughs> so, uh, with uh, Agulhe, I finished the presentation. Any more?